Hi second graders, read along with me to Swift-Footed Atalanta. Atalanta was a beautiful Greek maiden who could run faster than the winds. She loved nothing better than to run freely across the fields, through the woods, and up and down the hills. Atalanta's father thought that she should get married and settle down, but she cared nothing for the many young men who came daily to ask her to marry her. So many men came, in fact, that one day she announced, if you wish to marry me, then hear this. I will marry the man who can beat me in a race. Fine, the men cried. Let us start now. But there is one more thing, said Atalanta. Whoever runs this race and loses to me shall also lose his life. That should scare them away, thought Atalanta, for they know that I can outrun the wind. And indeed, many of the men began to cough and feel cold coming on or suddenly remembered that they had forgotten some important business they simply had to attend to. But a few men stayed. Yes, they had heard about Atalanta's swiftness, but after all, could they be beaten by a girl? Nonsense. And so these men raced Atalanta. She even gave them a head start of a hundred paces. But for each, it was a race to his doom. Then one day, there arrived a young man named Hippomenes. Atalanta liked his fair features, his gentle eyes, and his brave spirit, and she felt pity for him. Do not run against me, she said, for I shall surely beat you, and that will be your end. Let me try anyway, said Hippomenes. Of course he knew that he did not have a chance at outrunning her, but he had prayed to Aphrodite, who was the goddess of love, and asked for her help to win Atalanta as his wife. And Aphrodite had answered his prayers by giving him three golden apples and telling him what to do with them. The race began. Even though Atalanta started a hundred paces behind Hippomenes, she quickly caught up to him. When he heard her breath close behind him, he took one of his golden apples and threw it over, her shoulder, over his shoulder. When Atalanta saw the glittering apple, she left the path to pick it up. Hippomenes pulled ahead a little, but Atalanta easily caught up with him again. As she did, he threw the second golden apple even further from the path. Again, Atalanta left the path to get the apple, for she knew that she could still win. Again, she caught up with Hippomenes, who was puffing and gasping. He took the third apple and threw it as far and hard as he could. With an invisible nudge from Aphrodite, the apple rolled down a hill. Atalanta could see that if she chased this apple, she might fall too far behind to win, but she dashed aside and grabbed the apple. Then she strained every muscle to catch up with Hippomenes. They were coming closer and closer to the finish line. She could see his face and hear his hard breathing. With one last burst of speed, she could pass him. Suddenly, however, Atalanta felt something for Hippomenes that was not pity, but something warmer and more generous. And so she did not speed up and the young man crossed the finish line first. With a laugh, Atalanta took his hand and led him to her father's house where they were married that very day. And from above, Aphrodite looked down and smiled on the happy couple.